So this week we're building this crate that you can store your hockey pucks in. And I'm going to be using Steve Ramsey's idea on the inkjet photo transfer type thing. So let's not waste any more time and take a shot at this project. The wood I'm using is just the 2x4s from my big workbench that I had. And this will be a great use for the project. I'm going to head over to the table saw and kind of shave off the ends and try to clean them up a bit. To start off, I'm going to take about an eighth of an inch off each side so I can just have that new wood and then I'll run it through to get half inch pieces. nice side and a bad side and what I'm going to do is when I rip these down to half inch pieces I should be able to get two pieces out of each piece so instead of having five pieces I should have ten pieces of half inch wood. to half an inch thick and they're all just kind of random lengths. I think these are like about three and a half feet. Alright so I'm gonna take a few of my boards and the longest end is going to be 15 inches and the shorter end is going to be nine. dimensions are 15 inches by 10 inches. Now I need to make a few more of these so I can make it finish the box and make it a little bit higher, about two or three planks high. to build up the box a bit higher and I'll probably end up making it two planks high. So now I have the box which is 10 by 15 all half inch planks and what I'm going to do now is cut a few handles on the outside because it looks a little bit too boxy for a crate right now. So what I did was measure two and a half inches in on each side and I'm basically gonna make a handle out of this so I can take this piece of PVC pipe and at the line, I can use the arc of it for my handle. And then from here, I can take a straight edge of some sort, line it up pretty easily, and then go straight down from here as well. So this will be the profile of my handle. So to make the same profile, you can just take another end piece, trace it on, and pop it, and then you got the exact same thing. Now I can cut it out on my band. Perfect. So now I'm just going to do some light sanding on all my pieces. I'm not even going to use a hand sander because basically I want it to kind of look a little bit rustic. And I just want it to uh, have a nice look to it. So I'm going to start by doing the corners. And I'm just going to put a small bead of glue along this piece. Just kind of to help hold it in place. 
just in case the nails don't do the right job. So before I do anything now, I'm just gonna take three boards and put it on the bottom because it's probably gonna be easiest now. But what I had to do was shave off about an eighth of an inch off this middle board so that all the boards could fit across. And I do want a small gap in it too to kind of give it a rustic look. And I can just tack these down as well. So what I'm gonna do now is set this aside and basically put together the top half and this is basically just going to make assembly easier. So now I can stack the two boxes on top. And you might be thinking, how are we going to connect this? Basically what I did was I took some scraps and I'm just going to put them in on the inside corners. Glue them and pretty much tack them in. And that should be a strong hold. So now I'm going to take the crate, flip it on the side, take a piece of tape and use Steve Ramsey's awesome idea of how to transfer inkjet printers to wood and basically it's, it's an awesome technique. If you haven't seen the video for how to do it, you can check it out on his website. I'll even leave a link in the description and it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm just going to pop it on there. And you just want to make sure when you put it on that you do not move it once you put it on.